Okay, I would like to show off a uh, wood dumper now working in TWL mode. The slot 2 version specifically. Shutterbug uh, 2000 managed to uh, get SD access to work correctly for the slot 2 version of wood dumper, which is sort of a big deal because we can finally dump uh, NTR games in, T in TWL mode without using a, a flash me device, uh, not a flash me, a pass me device or any kind of card swapping, which you can't really do easily on a 3DS. It doesn't work with the TWL enhanced game, DSi enhanced games at the moment because a second card in it is required and it doesn't work. But for older stuff like this Mario 64 game, which I'm going to test it right now, it works just fine. So I'm going to insert that. I'm going to show it working now. The slot 2 version is a little bare bones compared to the Wi-Fi version, but it's a lot faster. See how much faster this is. And you don't even have to card swap or do any of that funny business. It just works out of the box. This will be super useful for dumping the ROMs of older flashcards. This particular game was a... Uh, particular game is only like 16 megabytes I do believe for, for comparison I have a Sonic game that's like uh, 64 megs that took like three hours to dump for the, the Wi-Fi version this would probably take maybe a third of that time which is maybe like an hour <laughs> take an hour to dump but on this it took like 20 seconds so I'm going to show the, the ROM on the uh, SD card that it dumped. So I'm going to bring up the micro SD management. Okay, I had to edit that out because my password is on the top screen and I don't want to show that. So I'm going to flip on over to the computer monitor here. This is the micro SD for my uh, N3DS. As you can see, the ROM's right here. And it works in an emulator, so I'm going to show that off now. Put that on my desktop. Which takes a little bit of time to do. But with M30S, I kind of have to do it this way because it's a pain in the butt to get to the SD card on it. And now I'm going to toss this into the um, no cache. As you can see, it's working. Completely valid up. As you can see here, only the programmers will really know what it's supposed to look like in the hex editor. <laughs> well, there you go.